What's going on guys and welcome back to the Adventure Outpost. It is the end of October so you know what that means. It's time to go over all the cool shit we got. That's right, we got a whole lot of stuff to go through so we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump right into it. Of course we will start with our classic hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop some comments down below so we can always party mantra as we always like to start with. But we're wasting no time. We're diving right into all the good stuff. And for the first time this month I picked up a bunch of vinyls again. So I figure we'll start with the vinyls. Now obviously there's only one that I picked up for myself but there is another section of vinyls that I got for my fiance because she is a huge fan of this artist and they had a really cool artwork if you collected all of them and I was super happy that she finally liked to do something collectibles so of course we had to get it for her so we're going to start with our vinyl. Now, the one that I picked up is this original soundtrack for the movie Rollerball. Uh, I really wanted to pick this up mostly because later on in the month, we're going to be getting Rollerball in November from Screen Factory. So it's going to be dope to get that movie in 4K along with the collectible poster and then to go along with this original soundtrack with it. I'll have a nice little Rollerball set to myself. I've never actually seen the original Rollerball, so I'm really looking forward to that coming out so that I can finally see that and see what all the fuss is about that because I've only seen the remake and the remake is not very fun. Um, and then now we've got what my fiance wanted and anybody who knows anything about my fiance knows that she is a huge Taylor Swift fan. So we picked up Taylor Swift's new album, Midnight. Uh, she also was releasing these vinyls, four collectible vinyls where on the back, it all has different parts of a clock. And if you put all four together, it shows the artwork for all of them. So we've got this one. Um, they had names for each like version, but of course, like once you open it, the name of the version is gone. So we just have this gold one that has six, seven, eight, nine on the back. We've got this lavender one here, which has three, four, five, and six on the back. We've got this, what looks to be maroon one, which has one, two, and three on the back. And then you've got your final one, which looks like a little silver bad boy. And that one has 10, 11, and up to 12 on the back. We also have a little piece that came with it that was called on um, the vinyl clock. It's a piece that goes together that you could put all four of them together and frame it on the wall and it will show the whole clock. So eventually that's going to come in and we'll have that for that to be displayed. So pretty cool. I'm not a bit, I'm not a Taylor Swift fan at all. Uh, the only Taylor Swift I ever listened to is if she's in the car playing something. But I do have to admit that is a pretty cool collectible thing to do do for your vinyls. So good on you, Taylor Swift. After that, we've got some pretty cool little horror cups that I picked up from Party City. Uh, these are all on sale for like $2.99. So when I saw them in there, when we were in there just randomly one day, I was like, these are dope. I got to get these. We've got a Nightmare Before Christmas one. We've got this awesome Freddy vs. Jason. We've got classic Chucky right there. We've got this Halloween 2. We've got It's Showtime, baby, Beetlejuice. And then we got those Never Say Die Boys, the Goonies. These are really cool little cups. Now we make our way over to the books that we collected for the month. We've collected a pretty solid amount of books. Uh, it's really awesome that I have a um, thrift store not too far from me that every Wednesday it's half price off everything. Um, so most of the books that you can get there, hardcover, are around $5. So you're getting them for $2.50 every Wednesday. So it's pretty awesome every Wednesday to go pop in there and see if there's anything in there that I've been searching for that I need and pick those up. So a lot of those are from this place. And we started off with the latest ones that I just picked up from there, which is the second book in the Hunger Games series, Catching Fire, in hardcover. And then the third book, Mocking Jay, in hardcover. I've actually never read either of these um, so I definitely want to get in there and read that. I, I got to find the first one though, cause I've never seen the, I've never read the first one. I've never read the series. So I got to find the first one in hardcover so that I can finally read those. Another big one that we got was the born supremacy. That that's a book I have read. I had the paperback version. I like to collect both the paperback and the hardcover. So obviously when I found that paper, that hardcover right there and I could get it for two fifty, I had to jump on it. Um, the born supremacy is my favorite of those books. So it was so dope to finally have that as part of the collection. Um, I picked up in hardcover Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This was the only Harry Potter book that I didn't have in hardcover um, collecting from when I was a kid. So it's good to add that one to the pile and have it join the club. Now, this is a book I've been searching for for a long time, and it is the hardcover version of Brandon Sanderson's The Way of Kings, which is the first in the Stormlight Archive series. Uh, this is my, one of my favorite fantasy series of all times. By the time I came across this series, this one was in paperback. I had bought it in paperback, read it in paperback, 
absolutely loved it. I eventually got my brother to read it, who loved it as well. That was the first book he had ever read to that was over a thousand pages. So I let him keep the paperback because all the other versions um, of the later series that I have were all in hardcover. So I wanted to get this one in hardcover. So I let him keep the paperback. This book was impossible to find in hardcover. It was going, it wasn't in stores anywhere. And then it was going on eBay for like 500 bucks from people. So I was just like, fuck, I'm never going to get this. This sucks. And then one day I just randomly happened to be in a Barnes and Nobles to actually go and collect, get the new David Baldacci book. And every time I go in and check, I just peruse around to see if there's anything that strikes my eye. And what should I see in the fantasy section? But one singular copy of The Way of Kings in hardcover. So... I managed to get this. This was only $25. So for a book that I thought I was going to have to end up spending hundreds of dollars to one day own in hardcover, I managed to find it and got it for 25 bucks. This book, if you've never read this book, you should absolutely read this book. This book is fucking incredible. It is my favorite standalone fantasy book that I've ever read. And uh, The Stormlight Archive is one of my favorite fantasy series, probably just right behind um, Wheel of Time. I also picked up this hardcover for Stephen King from A Buick 8, one of the few Stephen King books I didn't own and didn't, never read, so it was dope to get this one so I could finally read that. I also picked up Stephen King's newest book, Fairy Tale, which I actually finished a few weeks ago. It was really good. This man just churns out hits. And then I also managed to get his hardcover for the book Cujo. I have it in paperback, the classic one from when I was a kid, so to add the hardcover to the party was pretty dope. Then on the other side here, we got a few more. We picked up Nelson DeMille's The Cuban Affair. This was a book that I had that I misplaced and couldn't find for the longest time. So it was nice to get another version of it in hardcover. Um, and I did the same thing for his book, The Deserter, which is another one that I had misplaced and needed to get another one and managed to get this dope one in hardcover. We also got his latest book, his newest one, The Maze, that just came out. We also got a signed copy of it. So I've got this neat little, if we could find it in here somewhere, where is it? Yep, signed copy by Nelson DeMille. And then the book that I was actually in to get the day that I found The Way of Kings was David Baldacci's latest book, Long Shadows. So a really solid book. This is another guy. He just churns out hit after hit. He's just freaking incredible. The rest of these books that we're about to go through now are just David Baldacci books that I picked up at the thrift store that I needed in hardcover format. And we start that with Walk the Wire. We picked up his one, This Simple Truth. Another one, The Whole Truth. Another one, Stone Cold. And finally, The Winner. So a lot of great books that we added to the collection here in this month. And I read most of all these two. I think there's only like one or two of these that I haven't read. And I think it's I think it's just from a Buick 8 and then the two Hunger Games books, which I can't start until I get the first one. So I pretty much, as I got these, read through all of them as well. So I am a voracious reader. I read every day as much as I can. I can churn through a lot. I fucking love books. Um, so I was real glad to get all these books and run through them again. And before we get to what you guys were all here for, we run quickly through our VHSs that we collected for the month. We don't pick up a lot of them, but we like to collect all of my favorite movies, as you can see, just pretty much most of my top tier favorites. So if I come along a movie that's one of my favorites of all time and I find it in VHS format, I'm going to pick it up. So naturally, we start off right here with Who Framed Roger Rabbit, one of my favorite movies of all time, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, now, this obviously isn't one of my favorite movies of all time, but it's one of the most entertaining movies that I can watch over and over again, and that is The Patriot, a movie that I have to watch every Thanksgiving with my family, is March of the Wooden Soldiers. We've got Hook, an absolute classic here. We got my boy, Forrest Gump. My name's Gump, Forrest Gump. We got Big. We got Back to the Future Part 2. And then we've got Austin Powers in Gold Member. And then finally, we dive through all of the movies that we collected for the month. We'll start with the movies that weren't released in October, that were just stuff that I picked up to either upgrade or just got. And then we'll finish it off with the week-by-week -week rundown of everything that came out in October. And so we kick it off with, we got The Life of Pi here on Blu-ray. I hope to eventually get the 4K for this one because this movie is just absolutely incredible. Uh, we got this movie, Mechanic Resurrection. Uh, I've never seen it, but it was there for like $2, so why the fuck not? Uh, we added The Lion King 2 to my ever-growing Disney collection. Uh, we added Jupiter Ascending, a movie that I didn't own, but I had to pick up because I did see it in theaters. And if I see a movie in theaters, I gotta own it, regardless of how crappy it is. So we picked this bad boy up. 
Um, and then the rest of these were all part of the Kino Lorber sale that was going on in October. So we picked up Chado's Land, a Charles Bronson movie. Looking forward to watching that. We picked up In Bruges. This is also an upgrade for me. I freaking love this movie. I remember seeing it in high school uh, or college, I think. It might have been 2008. Does it say it on the back? It was 2008. I was in college by then. Uh, that was a great movie to see, even back in the day. Uh, we've got The Horse Soldiers with John Wayne and William Holden. Uh, we've got Stanley Kubrick's The Killing. We've got Stanley Kubrick's Killer's Kiss. We've got another Charles Bronson, The Valdez Horses. And then one more Charles Bronson in Mr. Majestic. I am a huge Charles Bronson fan, so I collect every single Kino Lorber that they put out of Charles Bronson because he is just the fucking man. And then we go through our week by week for October. For the first week of October, actually, I don't even know. I put them all down looking by week, but I don't know where each week ends. So just know that the first ones we show from the first week and as we get to the bottom, it was the last week of October. That's just how we're going to roll here. I'm not going to divided by which weeks it were. But we kick it off with DC League of Super Pets. Uh, this came out the first week of October. I actually managed to find this on eBay instead of, because I didn't want to spend the 30 something dollars that it was for the 4K, so I was going to hold off until it went down in price. And then I found it on eBay with the slipcover for only like $14 somebody was selling it. So I was like, hell fucking yeah. So I picked it up that way. I did that for the Minions also, but the Minions came in damaged, so I had to send that back and I have to reorder another copy. Um, so hopefully that comes in shortly. But yeah, you were able to find the Minions on eBay as well for some places as low as $10. And that's what I paid for it. I paid 10 bucks for it. Um, even though it came in damage, we sent it back. So hopefully we're going to get a new copy soon. And that'll add to the collection. Uh, one of my favorite Steven Spielberg movies, Catch Me If You Can. I love this freaking steelbook. I hope sometime soon they're going to do a 4K steelbook for this as well because I'll collect that also. Freaking love this movie. We also dropped the steelbook for Scream 2. I really like the front cover on this one. Um, the back is all right, but this this front cover is awesome with everybody like in the audience there with that. Really like that. I'm a big fan of that movie as well. We picked up Bram Stoker's Dracula. I freaking, this movie is just so wild. I freaking love it. It's great. Everyone in it's at the top of their game, even Keanu with his silly ass accent. Uh, we've got the Scream Factory Army of Darkness. This is a great movie right here. A lot of fun. I picked up Fright Night. This is actually a movie that I've been wanting to see for a long time. I still have yet to see it. I just haven't gotten around to actually watching it. I am going to watch it soon. Uh, this is one of those vampire movies that I've always wanted to see, never had a chance to. This and Lost Boys were the two that I've always wanted to see and never got a chance to. I got the Lost Boys back when it came out and we watched it then. I still need to see Fright Night. We got the great Beast from Idris Elba. If you ever wanted to see Idris Elba punch a lion in the face, this is the movie for you. We got, it, which was also an upgrade, Indecent Proposal. Got this as part of the Kino Lorber sale. This is a great freaking movie. I love this movie. Loved it when I saw it when I was a kid. Still love it today. We picked up the three amazing Godfather steelbooks. Look at these. You got the Godfather 1. We got the Godfather Part 2. And Coda, The Life and Death of Michael Corleone. Or just The Death the death of Michael Corleone. It never used to be that. I think it was just usually called The Godfather Part 3, but now it's got the weird, you know, title to it. Um, I haven't opened these yet because I still, last year, was stupid enough and I bought the box set of it, not realizing that one day they were going to release these amazing steelbooks. Um, so these steelbooks will remain sealed for now. We picked up To Kill a Mockingbird, which is a great, this was also an upgrade. Uh, this is a great fucking movie. I remember reading the book in school and loving it. Uh, we've got The Limey. I've actually never seen this movie, but it was a Lionsgate release, and we always collect our Lionsgate, baby. Lionsgate steelbooks over everything. We got this August thriller called Fall. This was a wild and silly movie, but super entertaining. We picked up Punisher Warzone. This is another movie I've never seen, but like I said, those Lionsgate steelbooks just always fire on all cylinders, so we have to pick them up. Looking forward to watching how silly that movie ends up being. Uh, we've got Bullet Train. Nice, fun August movie that was. This was a fun action movie. Not as good as the book. You should definitely check out the book if you enjoyed the movie. I think you get a little bit more enjoyment out of that. It'd be a lot of fun. Uh, another upgrade part of the Kino sale, we got Tropic Thunder. One of the best comedies of all time. This movie is so much fun. We picked up Return of the Living Dead. I've actually yet to watch this, but I'm looking forward to finally doing so. We got this movie, Breaking. This was another movie that came out back in August that I checked out, which has a really fucking phenomenal performance from John Boyega. You should definitely check this one out. We've got the 4K Steelbook release of Nope. I really like this front cover because it has that, that sick, just like uh, mis 
mystery of what the movie was about, but the back cover has a little remains to be seen there. That they could get a little bit more joy out of that bad boy. Um, movie, however, though, is freaking dope. I, I really enjoyed this movie when it came out. Another upgrade, but part of the Kino sale that I got was The Usual Suspects. Great crime thriller. Uh, we picked up Dressed to Kill. I actually watched this one the other night, and this is a wild fucking movie. Brian De Palma was an absolute madman back in the 80s. This is really freaking good. And then finally, uh, for whatever reason, they released this today, October 31st, the last day of October, so it comes as part of the haul, and that was our steelbook for Top Gun Maverick. An absolute, the best movie that has come out so far this year. A fucking stellar movie right there, and if you haven't seen it, go and buy this movie right now. Get, get out, go right now. Go wait outside until Best Buy opens again and get this, because this is an absolute must-own. And last but certainly not least, we are going to go through all of the posters that I collected for the month of October. We've got a nice slew of posters to get to, so let's go and take a look. We've got the one sheet for the movie Amsterdam. We've got the full poster for the movie Amsterdam. We've got the one sheet for that lovable rascal, Lyle Lyle Crocodile. We've got this great full poster for Lyle Lyle Crocodile. We've got The Mouthful, The Storied Life of A.J. Fickrey. We've got Kate Blanchett in the movie Tar. We've got the full poster for Halloween Ends. And we've got the teaser poster for Halloween Ends. We've got the poster for Till. We've got another poster for Till. We've got the one sheet for Black Adam. We've got the full poster for Black Adam. We've got the full poster of Black Adam that has all of the credits at the bottom. We've got Ticket to Paradise. We've got Ticket to Paradise with the credits at the bottom. We've got the movie Armageddon Time. We have this one sheet for the movie Pray for the Devil, back when it was called The Devil's Light. And last but not least, we have the full poster for Pray for the Devil. And that'll do it for everything that we collected here in the month of October. It was a nice plethora of goodies that we picked up. A lot of good stuff. And it's only going to get better from here on. We're hitting into the holiday season, so they're going to be dropping some fire movies to be coming through. November is absolutely stacked. Can't wait for all the goodies that are about to come out. Some really great movies coming out in theaters, so we're going to have some awesome posters to add to that. And as always, we're going to just keep collecting our books and some other miscellaneous stuff that we come across. And just keep this party going, because I love to collect movies and memorabilia and all of this good stuff so you could always come find us here again at the end of november where we will go through all of the dope shit that i picked up for the month of november but that'll be at the end of next month this is the wrap up for this month until next time as always you have been you i have been me these are the movies that we love so much and all the collectibles that we love and all the goodies that we love to collect and until next time adventure on <laughs>